Welcome back. This is Rito here, and today we're going to be doing a special video with M10. We're going to be doing this amazing golf map made by Chaos and Darth Morph. We're going to be pretty casual and just having a good time learning how golf works in Terraria. So far, I haven't done any golfing in Terraria, and I know M10 hasn't done much either. So this is going to be a little bit of a learning experience for both of us, and neither of us are really that familiar with this map. I saw a couple clips from it, but that's about it. So it's going to be a pretty fresh run for both. It was really fun to get to know M10 and hang out. So I hope y'all enjoy this video, and I'll cut to the footage of part two. Oh, there, there we go. Oh, yeah, I was using the wrong club. <laughs> there we go. Uh, how long have you been playing Terraria for? Oh, I've been playing since, I think, 2014, 2015. Oh, okay. I started on console because I didn't have a PC, and then I ended up getting a PC when 1.3 released because I was so excited about it. Okay, I'm just going to try to hit this super far. Oop. Whoa, that lagged, but... I think I got somewhere here. Man, this is so cool. It's like um, the elephant graveyard from Lion King or something. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> I started watching the live action Lion King the other day, but ended up losing that? interest. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I already know what's going to happen. I still don't understand if it's 100% animated or if they're filming real stuff and then mixing it in with animation. I think, I think that they have done some motion capture okay but it's all animated i think i don't know uh, that that, that uh, they've used a lot of photo realistic uh, uh, yeah i don't know I, I don't know what i'm talking about so i'll probably stop <laughs> i mean it sounds all legit you're saying it very confidently so i believe when did you get into terraria originally uh, uh 2013 and then at the start of 2013 when it came out on mobile after that, I switched on to PC um, after when 1.2 came out in 2013. And then from there, um, I started the YouTube channel very end of 2013. Oh, wow. You started one real quick there. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, did you bypass most of the inside of the beast? I think so. <laughs> oh, yep. man. I, I thought I was ahead of you. I was like waiting for you to catch up, but you're just miles ahead over there thinking of new strats. Yeah, there was a sneaky little sign that said, sometimes the most obvious path isn't always the correct one. So I was like, hmm. Oh my gosh, this looks like an absolute nightmare <laughs> down here. So in Australia, do they have like the same stuff on Netflix and everything? Um, to my understanding, Australian Netflix is a lot less um thorough than american netflix like what are the big streaming services in america um i use hulu netflix and then there's also you know hbo and yeah stuff like that. there was like hbo max or something that started and it flopped i mean i pretty mm -hmm. much get hbo for game of thrones whenever it would come out a new season and then i'd just cancel my subscription <laughs> <laughs> yeah fair enough. wow this is such a cool ice castle Okay, so I guess the solution seems to be to just knock it straight forward. This seems like there's only one path. Oh, I'm not <laughs> with the bullet. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? That was well played. <laughs> that was an epic hole in one. Man. That was not what I expected. Okay. Okay, well, I'm just going to launch this as hard and as fast as I can into this ice cave. Oh my gosh, that was surprising. Oh no, it's rolling backwards. I don't know where the hole is. Well, I'm in the ice cave now, so I can tell you. Um, it looks like we're supposed to knock it through the ice cave, and then it does not make much sense. Yeah. I think from the video, if I remember, it was something about it being above. Oh, you're gonna try to launch it super high? Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, it worked. I got quite high up there. I don't know if it's... Uh... Okay, it well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna play it the safe way, I think. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm Pedgwin. 
Oh yeah. Oh, you got the Pedguin. Yeah. Nice. Okay, well, I think I'm catching okay. up over here. Taking a few more strokes to get there, but just got to make sure I don't fall back down over here. Now, this is starting to remind me of... What's that game where there's, like, a guy that's shirtless with a hammer, and he's, like, grabbing onto the side of a building and trying to climb up? And he's, like, wearing a pot. <laughs> you, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Temple Run? Temple Run? No. <laughs> what? Where, where am I going? <laughs> Oh, I see the hole. It's over here, up on the top left, on this uh, little ice block. Whoops. Well, now we've really got a risky shot here. If we overshoot, yeah. we're gonna be in trouble. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be edgy about this. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. Whoop. No, it was <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. Although this ice block right above me, I wish I had a pickaxe. I think I'm gonna bounce it off the wall here. Oh my gosh, that was epic. Ooh, that's epic shot action. right there. Five, no way, five strokes. That's pretty good. I think because it didn't count my first one, it counted that as a hole in one. <laughs> There we go, 11 strokes. Yeah, you picked the right one. <laughs> Going up the uh, ice cave was not was not probably the best idea. Have you watched Chaos's tutorial on how to make these little um, cages? No, no. Yeah, he's, he has a video about it, it's pretty sweet. I think it's probably updated now because I noticed um, on some of the cages that he had at the beginning, he didn't have the platforms hammered. I think it's he's, he's using the invisible blocks now. Yeah, yeah, that, that's really cool. The, um, invisible, yeah, the invisible stuff opens up so many cool tiny base options. As far as Terraria YouTubers go, I'm definitely not one of the, the building expert ones. <laughs> I try to do a little bit of building, but it's kind of like once per series, I'll do a nice little build, and then the rest yeah. of the time, I just kind of enjoy that build. On my current 1.4 series, I had a little build contest, and um, we had a bunch of submissions and everything, so I put a lot of the builds into my world, so it's... Looks well, like I'm cool. a lot more of a builder than I am because I have like ten builds now. How did you How did you bring them across? Did you use TEDit? Yeah, I used um, TEDit, and everybody just submitted their builds with their world downloads on Discord, and then nice. I just I just picked the ones for different biomes and stuff, and used TEDit, and it was pretty straightforward. Whoa, nice hit! I think that's the right spot. Yeah. Ooh, and even yeah, came, oh, and even Oh, well, <laughs> sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Perfect. Now we're both at the same spot. I can't even see. There we go. Oh, Where no. We're... no. Oh, no. Oh, I came back out. Oh, nice. Okay, I need to make sure to use a wedge here. I think I'm just gonna try to wedge it over to the side, get a little closer. That way I don't risk going into this hole. Okay, I think I got it. All right. What's the, is it honey there as well? Yeah, it seems to be all honey over here. Oh man, I can't see There anything. we go, eight strokes, not bad. I think that's like my one of my better ones what for the difficulty. Nine. Oh, never mind. Oh, we're we're getting a little better. I mean, I'm sure there's viewers here getting it um a lot. Whoa, <laughs> like what two. just happened? Oh, oh, it did the um, it did the hoik. An invisible hoik. That was so cool. so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Timing is everything. Okay, all right. Oh no, <laughs> no. Oh, these block you. Yeah, <laughs> I see what you're talking about with the timing. Yeah. Whoa, this is really wacky. Ah, well, I guess it's just hit it super hard and hope that it'll bounce enough to get through somewhere. Oh wait, your ball came over to right by by me, but you're up there. That must be a multiplayer no, no, I've glitch. Got, I've got ball here, yeah. It's probably glitching because the actuation is different on my screen than on yours. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I saw your red or your orange ball go right beside me, and then it disappeared and came up where you are. So where are you right now? Um, I'm just right below you. Yeah, okay. It says you're right near the stylus. Yeah, and no, I'm I'm, I'm right up yeah, on the other okay. side. 
yeah. Mine's working. It's going very slow. Okay. Um, oh, I just, I, I just got it. Six strokes. Oh, Six nice. strokes too. I think um, we're getting the uh, hang of this. Yeah, here we go. Wait, so yours is already gone in? Yeah, I already oh, got okay, mine. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah. finish glitching yet now. There we go. <laughs> you just spammed around the map a little bit. So, are you? Where are you right now? Um, I'm just right here. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I can see. I can see. We may need to back out because you're lagging around the map a little bit. Hang on, wait. Oh, hang on. No, the world's completely glitched. <laughs> no, it's just falling into the abyss. All right, we may need. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm clearly not seeing what you're seeing. On my map, your ball's up in the tree. It's falling into hell. <laughs> are you uh, Are you falling down, down, or is this no, the ball? No, the ball. Oh man! <laughs> All the NPCs are falling off the map now. All right, I'll back out. I'll All right. back out. Sweet. <laughs> And then you just go up the hoik. Nice. So we're supposed to get this into the dungeon. I think so. So is this Chippy's couch right here? That is Chippy's couch. Okay, I get so many comments about getting Chippy's couch and stuff, so I need to figure out how to do that. Uh, it's a 1 in 7 drop from Skeletron. Oh, okay. Well, that saves me some research. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. Okay, I think... Yeah, I got through. I don't know if it shows on your your map that I got through. So M10, do you play other games besides Terraria? Um, depends. Currently, no. I, I totally understand. Before um, 1.4, I was playing a lot of okay, a bit of Gmod with my mates. By myself, I play Planet Zoo. Oh. I don't know if you've heard. Nice. I I haven't tried that game. That'd be enormous. There we go. Yeah. I got it in. I saw that. Okay. Oh, interesting. It's like a little pinball machine. Yeah, so on, on my map last time, this just ended up turning into an abyss and nothing happened. Oh, we've got some ice rods. I wonder if we need them. Well, there's a little sign over here. It says, this ice rod will assist you in reaching the golf hole. How much mana do you have? Uh, there was mana stars at the start, so I just... Oh, no. <laughs> I have I have 20 mana. No! Oh no! <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. As long as it was breaking. If you extend it over like one or two blocks. Oh, hit it too hard. <laughs> Use the honey. Up the top. Oh, there's honey at the top? Yeah. Oh, good idea. Very good idea. Whoa. Oh! Nice. Did we both get it in at like the exact same time? Yeah. Very nice. Okay, well, this is kind of cool. Looks like we'll be heading to hell. Yeah. Oh, a demon conch shell? Does that uh, does that teleport yeah. us to hell? Just to hell. I have not found one of these. Uh, you get them from lava fishing. Nice. Oh, and we need all these gems to go to a special level? Uh, yeah, I, I never bothered <laughs> trying to get them. I'm not, I never really got into gaming until Terraria, to be honest. Oh, really? And you said you started playing it on mobile, right? Yeah, PC gaming at least. The uh, the first PC game I played was Plants vs. Zombies on my dad's laptop back in grade 5, and I loved that. After that, it was mostly mobile games until Terraria. Duel! I might need a golf whistle for that one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use binoculars here and see how this goes. No. So we gotta get over this tall, tall mountain, I think. I think the bowls fly out of lava a bit easier. Ooh. I was so close to being on that platform up there. Oh. This is not going well for me. Yeah, this is gonna be one of our worst, I think. I'm actually going backwards here. I'm into the first lava pool. There we go. I got it over. Nice. So you're just getting to the top of that mountain, right? 
Let me see if you can get it onto that platform there. Where are you? I am restarting this one. <laughs> I. Oh no, not. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> now I got the good hit. Yeah, uh, let's just call this one like a 50 for me because <laughs> I was stuck in that other one and I don't think I could get out of that hole. So how many um, strokes did you do to 13. get it in? 13. Nice. Yeah, I think I did 13 just in that little pit. But nice. and it says two. Oh, yeah. Two strokes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, two strokes. No big deal. Yeah. That's how I roll. <laughs> All right, let's go. Whoa. Yay. We got to the end. Wow. Awesome. So how many, how many strokes did we do this whole run in? Yeah, so it seems like there were nine holes and we did probably where did it show the leaderboards? Is it right here? Yeah, Chaos did twenty eight strokes. Oh, beat it. Easy. <laughs> I, think I, I think we got 28 and yeah hole one or two we got 28 and i think on the tutorial i got 28 safe to say we were around 100 i i probably yeah. got like 20 or 30 just on that last hole yeah i oh, know there was a couple i got in like six i think maybe if we're being generous yeah there were a few i think we we got under 10 and several of them yeah. I'm, I think, didn't you I'm do really... one in like, oh, you, you got one in like two and then had trouble with the putting. Yeah, it ended up being 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> par 51. Oh, par 51, go. yeah. Did I get above par? No idea, probably not. Well, this is actually pretty accurate to how I play golf in real life. Do you like to use lava and teleporters in real life as well? <laughs> if it's mini golf? Floor is lava golf. This is fun, this is a great map. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. Oh, and where did you download really that map? Um, I downloaded it from the Terraria community forums. Um, uh, oh, Chaos gave a link on his video as well. So, huge shout out to Chaos for creating this map. It's very nicely made. Um, and Darth Morph as well, because uh, I believe it was a collaborative effort on their part. So, great work, both of them. I, I believe Darth Morph does a lot of community work on the forums as well, running, um, build, building stuff. Great work to both of them. I'll definitely check it out if you haven't already. It's a lot of fun. And uh, let us know in the comments what you ended up getting for your scores. <laughs> I'm interested to yeah. see how, how well everyone's doing. So that was a great time. Thank you so much for inviting me to collab. Anytime, Rito. For all those who haven't seen the other video, we have a part one to this, and that's on M10's channel, so be sure to go over there and check it out. He does a bunch of really amazing Terraria 1.4 showcase videos as well. Definitely subscribe to M10 if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching this, everyone. Uh, and of course, if you aren't subscribed to Rito Gaming already, you should be, because he makes great content. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.